Hello, this is Byron, and uh, thank you for joining me for another home body weight workout. Today I'm going to do a shoulder and back workout uh, using the uh, two stools here. So I'm going to do a wider than shoulder width grip, which you have to be careful, uh, which you have to be careful uh, doing, uh, because you can uh, injure your shoulders or your back, uh, typically the back of your shoulders or even your neck. Um, as you're doing uh, this exercise, when you're doing wider than shoulder width grip. So there are basically, again, three hand positions or grips that you can use. You can use a close-in, uh, shoulder width, or wider than shoulder width. Um, same as for all the other exercises. Okay, but with this one, I'm going to do wider than shoulder width grip. And using the two stools, so I'm doing an upward angle, so meaning my, my uh, upper body is at an upward angle, but it's a low angle. It's not the high angle, like, you know, for example, a table or, you know, a wall or something like that. Okay, so it's just, uh, again, it's, it's a low angle, but it's still an upward angle. That makes sense. All right, so again, wider than shoulder width grip. Take my feet out, cross one leg over the other, look up at the ceiling. Okay, so um, yeah, it's pretty uh, <laughs> uh, somewhat difficult, let's just say, somewhat difficult. So uh, behind the back, and uh, I'm doing uh, you know the wider than shoulder width, so just be careful uh, because it's quite easy to injure yourself, uh, your shoulders, and shoulder pain can go on for a long time. It's not pleasant. Go down as far as you can. Ah. 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 Okay, and kind of rest on the exercise, if that makes sense. As you're going down, just kind of, you know, really take control of your, your body weight as you're doing the exercise to try to, you know, maximize the muscle building, the, the muscle building uh, potential, you know, the muscle building uh, Power, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so again, divide our shoulder width, cross one leg over the other. All right, so um, you will uh, probably feel tired fairly quickly uh, with the behind the back exercise. I typically uh, feel, you know, my muscles get fatigued very quickly because it's an unusual position. Uh, and also, it's just a difficult exercise. Some exercises are just, you know, naturally more difficult than others, obviously. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> Okay, just, again, always be in control of the motion. Uh, don't jerk around side to side or, you know, just try to bounce your way up or something like that. Always be in control of the exercise and try to feel the weight on your muscles and just, you know, go with it. You know, uh, uh, feel the weight and the pressure and let it sit on your muscles. Don't, you know, try to basically, you know, as I go down, I'm doing it slowly and I'm just kind of, you know, getting into that, you know, the, the feeling of the weight on my muscles, and I'm feeling it, and I'm just exaggerating that position a little bit, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm just going to flex for about, uh, usually the first flex is for about uh, 20, 30 seconds, just to, uh, you know, grip the muscles a little bit more and add more definition. Yeah, it's got a nice little flex in there. Hey, listen to the music. Actually, it shouldn't move around. <laughs> it's flexing. You gotta keep still when you're flexing good enough to. Uh... So I can't dance while I'm doing the 
Well, I'm flexing, damn it. You know? Can't dance while I'm flexing. You know? no, no dancing while you're flexing. That's one of the rules here, you know, the home body weight workout. You know? Home workout. You know? Is that we do not. Okay. That's quite good. Okay, so let's do it again. And as you start to reach those points of failure and those points of exhaustion, just uh, focus more on the negative resistance, as I say in uh, pretty much every video. Focus more on the negative resistance as you get to that point. And you will feel a lot, a lot of pressure on your shoulders uh, because you know you have the wider grip, uh, the wider, wider than shoulder grip. So you will feel a lot of pressure on your, on your shoulders. Be very careful with that. You can get injured very easily. It's very easy to get bursitis is very common, but there's also injuries. You know, don't injure yourself. Don't injure your back. Don't injure your shoulders. I'm very sorry. And, or, or if you have pain anywhere, like in your uh, in your muscles, you know, in, in, even in your arms, or in the back of your arms, in your triceps or something. Be very careful. You know? When you have one body and living in pain all the time is not fun, especially if it goes on for months at a time. It's really not fun. Oh. 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 Okay, so now I'm stopping and holding. Which is not very long. It's a very awkward position, you know, having your hands behind your back. Okay, so I'm just going to flex for 10, 15 seconds longer. Then I'll do another stop and hold, uh, isometric thing. And then we'll jump to the next exercise. All right, so just about 15 seconds is enough. And one more. And just oh. very hard. Okay. All right. So let's move this uh, to the side. And then um, close and grip. So I'm going to change the grip to close, which is going to be very challenging because the other exercise was wider than shoulder width. So my body is forced to adjust to you know, a different hand position, which is much and, and much less leverage too. So let's we'll see how this goes. Um, this is not not an easy transition normally, but try it. I'm gonna try it and see how it works for you. Okay, the close in hand position, basically the same angle, with a lot less leverage. <sighs> oh. All right, so anyway, it's just, a, it's just an add-on exercise, just like a superset. Uh, even though it's not technically a superset, it feels like one. It definitely feels like one. All right. Superset is typically when you're doing the same exercise, but you're doing like a, an extra cookie, cookie set. All right, so anyway, let's get right back into it. So finish this workout. Don't dawdle. Really, uh, yeah, the behind the back uh, chest and shoulder exercises do really, uh, you know, they're, they're tough. They're, they're pretty tough, you know, in my opinion. Uh, all right. Okay, so we'll just try to do as many of these as we can. And it's just, just an ancillary, secondary add on. Okay. Okay, just give it a quick flex. Third time around, so just flexing for a short period of time.
Yeah, about 15 seconds is okay. Okay. Oh, I should put it up so I'm just going to stop and hold <laughs> as long as I can, which is unfortunately not very long. Or maybe fortunately, it definitely means you're getting a good workout when uh, your muscles are starting to fail, you know, fail on you, you know, it's definitely a sign, uh, a clear sign that you're getting a good workout as, long, as, as much as, you know, like the next day when you feel sore, uh, when you feel tight and sore in your muscles, not tight, but basically sore, uh, tells you you're getting a good workout. All right. And one more time. Ah! And hold as long as I can. <laughs> Woo, that's tough. Anyway, so that is the that is the uh, back and shoulder workout. So let me come over here and pull up a chair. All right, and um, let me move the camera a little bit so it's up so I can see. You can see me. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, so uh, that that is a very nice little uh, back and shoulder workout uh, there. You know, with the, with the two stools just at a lower angle. Um, and generally, when you're at the lower angle um, with the back workout, uh, it feels more challenging. I don't know. It just feels like there's more pressure on your back muscles and your uh, the backs of your shoulders, or even the top of your shoulders. You know, sometimes you feel the top of your shoulders, especially with a wider uh, wider than shoulder width grip. But uh, that is a really good workout. I, I really enjoyed that actually. And uh, the behind the back with you know switching the hand position to the closed position for the same angle. I don't know. It's just just added a, a, an extra wrinkle, an extra you know wrinkle to the exercise. Anyway, so that was a good workout, and I hope you enjoyed that too. Uh, so this is Byron. Remember what I say: uh, keep motivated to work out at home. Convenient, cheap. Uh, you know. You can just work it around your own schedule, you know, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, uh, lunchtime, you know, whenever it's convenient for you. Get a nice little workout and, um, you know, and uh, be happy with the, the body that you have, you know, work, work, work it and, and, and get the body that you want. Anyway, thank you very much. This is Byron signing off and I'll see you next time. See you in the next video. Stay strong.